Is it true that fish is brain food? Fish is rich in omega-3 fatty acids that were suggested to lower the risk of cognitive disorders such as impairment of learning, memory, perception, and problem-solving. But, is it true? Let's find out. What are omega-3 fatty acids? Lipids or fats are made from saturated and unsaturated fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids are a type of fatty acids known as polyunsaturated fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids are also divided into docosahexaenoic acid, also known as DHA, linolenic acid, or ALA, and diacosapentaenoic acid, or EPA. DHA is the principal constituent of the plasma membrane of neurons found in the brain and cerebral cortex. It is also found in the retina and skin. EPA is essential for the synthesis of the vasodilator, anticoagulant, and inflammatory hormone, prostaglandin. It is also essential for the synthesis of feprocoagulation and thrombosis factor, thromboxane, and the inflammation mediators, leukotrienes. ALA is involved in the regulation of blood lipids and vessels function. It has also significant anti-inflammatory and anti-thrombotic effects. Which types of omega-3 fatty acids are found in fish? DHA and EPA are found in fatty fish such as salmon, tuna, herring, mackerel, sardine, and fish oils. ALA is found in fish but in flaxseed, chia, walnuts, hemp, and vegetable oils. What are the benefits of omega-3 for the brain? Omega-3 fatty acids are present in the membrane of brain cells and are protecting factors of the nervous system. These are some of the functions of omega-3 fatty acids in the brain. 1. Omega-3 fatty acids and neurotransmission. Neurotransmission is the process of transmission of information between the brain and the other parts of the body. This transmission is carried out by neurotransmitters such as dopamine, serotonin, glutamate, GABA, along the neurons. Neurotransmitters travel from one neuron to another through synapses, however, to do so they must be transported by membranous vesicles that are made essentially made of omega-3 fatty acids. 2. Omega-3 Fatty Acids and Neurogenesis Neurogenesis is a process of making neurons and other types of brain cells that begins during embryonic life and that continue in certain parts of the adult brain, such as the hippocampus and the subventricular zone of the cerebral cortex. The hippocampus is the part of the brain that is involved in memory and thesaventricular zone is implicated in olfaction, which is the sensation of smell. 3. Omega-3 Fatty Acids and Membrane Receptor Function Omega-3 fatty acids have been shown to regulate the activity of the adenosine A2 and dopamine D2 receptors that are found on neurons and which modulate the function of the neurotransmitters, glutamate, and dopamine. 4. Omega-3 fatty acids and synaptic plasticity. Neurotransmission is performed through the transfer of neurotransmitters from one neuron to another through synapses. The changes in strength or weakness of the synapses are known as synaptic plasticity. These changes can regulate the number of neurotransmitter receptors that bind neurotransmitters and therefore control the excitation of neurons. Omega-3 fatty acids are involved in changing the strength or efficacy of synaptic plasticity and in inducing the growth of new synaptic connections. 5. Omega-3 fatty acids and neuroinflammation. Neuroinflammation is an inflammation that happens within the central nervous system following injury. Omega-3 fatty acids have been shown to have the anti-inflammatory properties through their involvement in the synthesis of pre-resolving mediators such as resolvins, protectins, and marazins. These mediators are involved in the resolution of inflammation. Can omega-3 fatty acids help prevent neuropsychiatric disorders? Let's find out. 1. Omega-3 fatty acids and schizophrenia a study found that the blood levels of DHA and EPA are significantly lower in patients with schizophrenia compared to healthy control individuals. It also found fat schizophrenia patients who consume more omega-3 fatty acids have an improvement in schizophrenia symptoms. 2. Omega-3 Fatty Acids and Mood Disorders Mood disorders have been associated with abnormalities in the composition and concentration of omega-3 fatty acids. 
Patients with major depression have significantly lower omega-3 fatty acids in the blood cells and the severity of the depression correlated with the concentration of 3 fatty acids. Can omega-3 fatty acids help patients with Alzheimer's disease? Several studies have shown a correlation between Alzheimer's disease and the decrease in the levels of omega-3 fatty acids in the hippocampus and cortex. However, further clinical trials are required to confirm the beneficial role of omega-3 fatty acids for patients with Alzheimer's disease. Can omega-3 fatty acids help patients with Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, ADHD? Although the effect was modest, a study reported that supplementation with omega-3 fatty acids improved the symptoms of Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, ADHD. Can omega-3 fatty acids help patients with acute neuronal injury? Excess or chronic neuroinflammation can cause damage and death of nerve cells. Through their neuroprotective and anti-inflammatory properties, omega-3 fatty acids can prevent the induction of acute neuronal injury that can be caused by neuroinflammation. Can omega-3 fatty acids help patients with traumatic brain injury? Traumatic brain injury can result in sensory and motor disabilities and post-traumatic inflammation that limit the regeneration of neuronal axons. An experimental study showed a significant increase in locomotor performance and survival neurons following the administration of omega-3 fatty acids. In conclusion, fish is rich in omega-3 fatty acids and specifically in DHA and EPA. Omega-3 fatty acids have many roles in brain function, cognition, the generation of new neurons in the hippocampus and the cerebral cortex, and in neuroinflammation. Omega-3 fatty acids also have neuroprotective properties that can help with the treatment of mental health disorders such as schizophrenia and major depression, and Alzheimer's disease, brain injury, ADHD, neuronal injury, and protection against neuroinflammation. Therefore, to the question is it true that fish is brain food, the answer is an absolute, yes, and it is important to have fish as part of a diet. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and share for more videos like this.